Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shop Pro video. Today we're going to take this gentleman in this picture and put him in another scene but make him look invisible. Now this technique is really just another use case for displacement maps and I have another video that covers displacement maps in much greater detail. You'll be able to find it in the link below or in the cards at the end. But there is going to be a little bit of extra processing that's going to be involved in this technique which just allows a little bit more detail to show through in the blending. So let's get to it. So the first step in this process is to separate the figure from the background. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time showing that. Um, so we're just going to start out under the assumption that I've already cut this guy out. And primarily what I did was just carefully use the background eraser and then use a selection to remove all the extras. Uh, for the sake of this technique, to be quite honest, I don't believe you really need to have a very clean uh, background removal. As you can see, I didn't really get too careful in a lot of different parts. And you'll see why, because the displacement map is really going to kind of ignore all of that detail anyway. And even when we bring some of the detail back with this figure, it's not going to be that critical that these little pieces aren't perfectly clean. But it's up to you. So now that we have our figure separated from the background, we can bring the new background in and I'm just going to bring this sort of scene of what is, I believe, Japan. And to use a displacement map in PaintShop Pro, you have to have the source of your displacement map as a separate image. So actually, what I'm going to do is turn this background off and then do a copy merged and then paste that as a new image. So this image one is now what's going to be the source of our displacement map. So going back to our starting image, now that we have the background in place, we can turn this guy off. And we wanna make sure the background is selected and go to effects, distortion effects, and displacement map. And so then, well, you know, here is where you would select if you want to use a texture or something. This is your current image, but we want to use image one because that's what's going to kind of create this sort of change in the background and the lighting and the detail based off of the lighting of the figure. So we'll select that and then you can already see it, its effect. I mean, this really has that sort of cinematic you know, I'm invisible but I'm still distorting light in some ways and uh, one of the things that I'll I mention that is kind of critical with the displacement map is you always want to consider what the lighting of the source image is. And the best way that I have found that you correlate that lighting with some of these, the rotation lighting settings, is think of this line and the circle in the middle as an arrow pointing in the direction of the primary light source. And so in the case of this image, it felt like the primary light source was coming down on top of the subject so I changed the rotation to be pointing straight down and that produced this kind of distortion. Now one thing to do here uh, I feel like is a point of um, you know customization as well is changing the blur so the more you blur the more you know uh, you lose a lot of detail right if you use a much larger number and so then as you bring it back and as you bring it even into a very small number, you start to get a lot, a whole lot of detail, right? To the point where you almost just have an embossing of where all the edges and all that kind of stuff are. So you got to play with that dial to, you know, whatever degree of detail you're looking for. I kind of want something in the middle. I definitely want to see the folds in the jacket and some of the parts of the face. But there is some other extra things I'm going to do to bring a little bit more detail back as well. So at this stage, depending on what you're going for, you may just want to stop here and say, oh, this looks like there's somebody standing there and clearly is, you know, doesn't belong in the scene and is, you know, changing the lighting kind of right in that area. But what I'd like to do just because I feel like this is more of a portrait -y type kind of image to bring a little bit more detail of the original figure back. So then for this next set of steps, what we're going to do is turn our original figure back on and really what we're going to be doing is just trying to blend the figure into the scene and then kind of, you know, reduce its presence to, you know, blend it with the displacement map. So a few things we're going to do. First thing is create a mask um, because we are going to eventually want to, you know, hide some parts of it. But 
We'll go down with that, with the figure selected, we'll go down to the mask button and say show all. And so now we have a group and because we have a group now, we can do some layers, uh, adjustment layers that it will affect only him and not the rest of the scene. So one to start with might be uh, removing the color because we don't really need the color of his image to show through so we can reduce saturation and and probably even more so we can change this uh, groups blend layer to luminance. So then what that does now is it allows the original color underneath to come through. So we probably actually don't need this. Next, uh, I'll, what you'll notice is that it feels like this figure has a much higher contrast than the rest of the scene. So one of the things we can do is just go to adjustment layers and then add a brightness contrast adjustment layer and then decrease the contrast. So then we start to see it starts to blend in a little bit more in the scene. And maybe we even want to darken it a little bit. So this is looking pretty good and now maybe what we want to do is there's certain areas that we want really just the distortion instead of the detail of the original figure. So with our mask selected we can simply select a paintbrush. In my case I want it to blend pretty smoothly so I'm going to use a very low hardness brush. Maybe bring it down a little bit. And then just by painting black what you can see is we can start you know, eliminating some of that detail that came in with the original figure. And it gives much more of that sort of invisibility look. But we still retain some detail in the face and maybe even some detail in the middle. It all just depends on what you like and how it looks. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a few ways that you can kind of take that second phase to add detail. Uh, I've seen in Photoshop videos, they do some layer styles with like inner glow and stuff like that. I haven't found that that works pretty too well, at least not in this example. But this is sort of my take of doing the invisibility while still having some detail after the fact. Uh, I hope it helps you enable you to create something similar and that you may have learned a little bit more about displacement maps. But that's it for me. If you have any questions or would like to suggest content, feel free to leave a comment. If you would like to get updates on new content, click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon page. And I'll see you guys next time.